Oh my God. Where'd that come from? No, he's not getting up. He's not Tyson Fury. He's not getting up. Oh shit! Oh my God, that power, man. That shit is legit. That shit is legit. Oh my God. Damn. Damn. Well, Dominic Brazil did kind of touch heaven a little bit. So I guess you can say, I mean, he's alive and safe, but Wilder did kind of kill him for a little bit. God damn, he melted the shit out of him. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a screaming. When it comes to knockouts, this is 40. And Wilder's 20th first round. <sighs> Let's let cooler heads prevail because I didn't think this was going to be over that quickly or like this. L listen, listen, that, that, that right hand, it touches you. Man. I don't even know where to start. It's nothing to talk about with the fight. Dominic, damn, Dominic. Look at him. He's broken. Damn. Damn. So, let's listen to the uh, post-fight interview. I want to give you a brief highlight of the uh, knockdown, the knockout. Because the way he went down and just was like stretched out right there. Now the question is. The Luis Ortiz rematch is supposed to be next. Unless they pull some type of power move. Anthony Joshua was fighting on June the 1st. Just two weeks from today. Against Andy Ruiz. A month from today. Tyson Fury's fighting Tom Schwartz. Two months from today, Dylan White is fighting Oscar Rivas. And Manio Char, WB, let's not. I'm waiting for him to get the post-fight interview. So once again, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. We cover every single Deontay what Wilder fight. I don't even know where to start with this replay. I don't even know where to start. With the way he melted him. Suggested that he was going to try and come out aggressive, and that is exactly what he did. Oh, that's just round one. Oh, they're they're re oh they're just they're replaying. Um, no, we can't watch this. But he he he's got so much more um accurate with it. And remember, he's about 13 or so pounds heavier than he was his last fight. Remember, he had weighed in with the mask on for the Tyson Fury fight. He was about two or not two or nine or so. So he's getting stronger, more defined. Not to mention he's better on the microphone. He's doing what he's saying he's going to do. However, he did throw a body shot earlier that I was just like, mm, I'm a little concerned with. He got to be careful with swinging wild like that. But still, you know, I wonder what's taking him so long to get the post-fight interview. Also, um, I'm thinking that she, you know, I got to stream the post-fight press conference. I want to hear what he has to say. And I want especially want to hear what his message is to like Anthony Joshua. Now, People have been getting on me because they say in T Street, like, you always sitting on the fence. You know, you can clearly see that it's Deontay Wilder who don't want to fight. Hey, listen, I just want to see the fight. However, I can't justify turning down 100 million. But if he keep doing shit like that, you know, now don't get me wrong. Tyson Fury, you know, with those two knockdowns. But still, this is a guy right here that can guarantee you uh, at least a knockdown. And you don't want to be hit by him or even knocked down. You may not get up. He putting people to sleep now, like to sleep. Not just like wild, wilder shit. Well, he did try to go uh, uh, for a wilder on it. Ooh. 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 Oh, Lord. That was just full of sin. And Dominic Brazil gathered himself, but it was just way too late. And you can see he wasn't no Tyson Fury. 
even when he got up, he wasn't right. Wilder. Yeah, we talked about Deontay Wilder's emotion before this fight and going into this fight. It's one of the, it's one of the things that makes him exciting. And uh, he clearly was fighting with emotion. He had a disdain for Brazil and uh, he took it out in that first round. Damn, Brazil. What's next for Brazil? Motherfucking Chris Ariola. Some the shit. First right hand they got to build him back up we'll to get him F.A. Ajagba. Normal angle. And the left hand of Brazil down low. Wilder. Oh no! Nice oh, I'm sorry. Right hand. And I'll tell you, sometimes Deontay Wilder throws a wider right hand. In this instance, it was a straight right hand, and that was what was necessary to get it in. How did he here's, stay up from here's that? Here's where the knockout. He will use the jab effectively and throw the right hand. This is what Deontay Wilder does. This guy's a monster. Trying to counter with a sweeping. This guy's a monster. Jab, but wasn't quick enough. And the quickest way to a, the quickest point from A to B is always that straight yeah. line, and the right hand straight down the middle. Deontay yeah, Wilder put Dominic Damn, Brazil. Brazil's body in airplane mode, yeah, my that, friends. That is true. And you know, Brazil fought this whole fight at long range in this first round, and you, this was kind of inevitable because of that. And, and we you got gotta to have upper body movement, long range and you gotta be listen. Exactly. To when it comes to Joshua versus Wilder, look, it's all about who lands they, the they, first clean shot. Shot. Legendary trainer Emmanuel Stewart say knockout sell. It's all about who lands the first yeah, clean shot. Deontay Wilder did here. And uh, that last look at this. And rest assured, demonstrates my personal opinion yeah, is Deontay yeah, Wilder is more powerful than Anthony Joshua. He was out before he hit the ground. Like for him to be putting on those type of shows, that's Mike Tyson esque. To put on, like, to not know, like, if you're going to get your money's worth, but you know you're going to get a fucking crazy knockout. successful title defense, there will be no winds of change on this The rematch with Luis Ortiz, the rematch with Luis Ortiz could be a potential career match for Luis Ortiz. Because if he loses the second time around, he's going to get brutally knocked out, in my opinion. And then after, it's supposed to be Adam Kwanowski. Now, understand... There's still a little bit of a question mark around Deontay Wilder's chin. But we've seen him get cracked and we've seen him recover well. With Jimmy Lennon Jr. I'm sorry. How can you be I'm sorry? How can you hate on that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 17 Crazy. seconds of round number one. A referee in charge, Harvey Doc, reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by Clean this way clock. of knockout, and still the reigning undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the Bronze Bomber. Let's give him his 40th Deontay knockout. Come on, box wreck. There you go. Wilder. It's not just the windmill attack anymore. The first round, he did hit him with the windmill attack. I do admit that. Oh, we're probably going to be here forever. Listen in. A lot of pent-up frustration against Dominic Brazil, and it just ended here in the first round. Describe your emotions that led up to this and the end of the fight. First of all, if you give God the glory, he will give you the victory. I want to thank Barclay Center. I want to thank Brooklyn. It's like a second home to me, baby. I thank y'all. I appreciate you guys. I'd like to thank my team, Al Heyman, Shelly Finkels, JDs, Mark Breeland, Demir Demirius Hill, as we call Cuz, Coach Cuz. I just, you know, everything just came out of me tonight, you know. I know it's been a big build up to this fight. It was a lot of animosity, a lot of chaos, a lot of hatred against each other. It was a lot of words that were said, and, uh, and it just came out tonight. This is what makes boxing so great, you know. When you can have so much inside, you know, you had to endure, you had to overcome, even with the training. You know, like I said, there's been many times where my body was hurting. You said something to Brazil, however. What did you say to him when you went over to him and embraced him? I just told Brazil, I told him I love him. And, of course, you know, I want to see him go home to his family, you know. I know we say some things that we mean sometimes, but then... When you get into a fight and you settle your differences as men and you hold these gloves up and your fists, this is what the sport is all about. And you can come to the next man and hug him and kiss him and say thank you so much, you know, instead of other things. This is what the, I wish the world was like that. Well, we can handle this with our hands and 
at the end of the day, we can hug each other and say, you know what, we live to see another day. And that's what it's all about. Can you describe the disappointment that you have had in the past few months of having your first draw and then not being permitted to settle that score with Tyson Fury? I mean, I understand what Fury did, you know? I, I understand. When you're getting dropped on the canvas like that and you don't know how you got down nor know how you got up, I understand you had to get yourself back together. So that's what he did. So, but that fight will happen. The rematch will happen. Like all these other big fights will happen. I know a lot of people want to know when the, the, the Joshua fight happening. When? You know, all these fights, are, the great thing about this is all these fights are in discussion. You know, it's, it's like no doors are closed. All teams, all parties that's involved are talking, and that's the great thing about it. And we know that when the big fights happen, everything goes silent. There's too many people involved, oh. too many opinions involved right now, and it's going to take my team and his team, maybe me and him as well, too, to sit down and just handle this and squash everything and, and get this fight done for the fans. But I won't be because... You know, Go ahead. This fight will happen. The big fight will happen. I promise you that. We'll come patient, come time, and I just want you guys to have patience and, have, and give us a little time to make this thing happen the way we all benefit from it. Not only just you fans, because we risk our lives in here, so we want to be, we want to make sure we, ha we get the best and the most money that's possible for we risking our lives. I mean, the head is not meant to be hit in the first place, so just let us, let us get our time to, to, to iron out our differences and and you guys will know when it, when, it, when it happens. Yet you do recognize by what you're saying that with all due respect to these other opponents, the public does not want to see Ruiz. The public does not want to see Dominique Brazil. The public does not want to see whoever this guy is that's fighting Tyson Fury. They want to see you three fight like Ali fought Frazier, like Ali fought Foreman, like Foreman fought Frazier. So to be recognized in that type of breath go, Jim. for the modern day, you've got to get it on. They don't want to have a whole lot more patience. Most definitely, you know. But, it, <laughs> but you know what the saying is, Jim. <laughs> good, good thing come to those who wait. <laughs> let's take a look. Let's take a look real quick at the knockout and tell us from your perspective what you were seeing. We met our quota. We can't look mind. at the knockout anymore. Well, I seen Brazil slowed up a little bit. I think I uh, <sighs> when I hit him with the right and hand the first time, his, his body face. language changed. And when you were so experienced that I. When you'd have been in there with so many different guys and traveled all over the world, you kind of understand and recognize body language. And I knew he was slowing down and the Ooh. opening was, was opening up. And, you know, I'm the bronze bomber, baby. And when I'm in Brooklyn, I'm the this Bronx shit. bomber. All right, you also hurt your arm, your left arm. How long is it going to take to recover? I think it was just a, like a, a hyperstension situation that was going on. My, my, my left arm got totally numb. But in boxing, you had to bluff it off. You had to fake it. And I think he kind of assisted a little bit. He was coming on. But um, you know me, man. I'll fight with a broke hand, with a third-degree burn, with a broke, uh, a torn, torn bicep. You know, I'm a warrior. I'm a true king. You know, and uh, that's what it's all about, just, just being in there and just giving Georgia's you all gonna be forever, right? in this ring, each and every last one of us. Congratulations, Deontay. We look forward to seeing you next time on Showtime. Thank you so much. All right. We got... Luis Ortiz oh, got, here, but before we talk to Luis, oh, let's bring in yeah, Brazil. It's, it's next. Hold on a second, Luis. It's next. Uh, Dominic, see? Mm, mm, mm. That's it. Dominic. That's it. It's next. Are you okay? When you, okay. When you told him, Luis? Brazil don't want to talk. We'll have Felix De Jesus translate. He doesn't want to talk. They to wouldn't him have time. him in the ring if it wasn't next. I'm telling you Luis. that. That's been the Would plan. Like to have a rematch against Deontay Wilder. Before that, it don't have the same luster. Get me in Miami. Now I'm here for the fight, the rematch. Do you believe that that will be your next fight? And Deontay's next fight. ¿Tú crees que esa va a ser la próxima pelea tú frente a Deontay Wilder? Él es la única persona que puede decirlo. Está en el ring o se fue. He's the only person that can say if that's going to be the next fight, Deontay Wilder, and he left now. Okay, well he's right behind you. You can go talk to him, find out. Thank you, Luis. Gracias, Luis. Y va a hablar con él para ver si la. All right, Moro, back to you. 
All right, Jim, thank you very much. That Luis Ortiz rematch has lost its luster. So you need to check out that. Um, I did a recap of all the big talking points of the um, Shelly Finkel video um, interview he did with Adam Smith of uh, Sky Sports. It was a, in a video I did earlier today. So if you don't know, Deontay Wilder, once again, this is live in real time. About 20 minutes or so ago, Deontay Wilder sparked out brutally. I'm talking about like he pushed his shit in. Um, uh, Dominic Brazil, here comes trouble. Now, I'm kind of afraid. I was trolling Deontay Wilder on Twitter and saying Dominic Brazil was going to fuck him up. But I really didn't mean it. <laughs> So now, as I said, we got to wonder, like, you know, when are these heavyweights going to fight each other? Because it's looking like we're not going to see Joshua Wilder in 2020, I mean, in 2019, unless something, you know, happens. But I've been hearing that there is some type of progression. And also Shelly Finkel was talking about that there's some type of progression, even though I mean, him and Eddie Hearn aren't talking, but him and the head of the zone john skipper are talking meaning um um deontay wilder's manager uh shelly finkel is talking with the head of the zone but it doesn't seem like shelly finkel and wilder's team feel like they can get the maximum amount of exposure and become a worldwide superstar and get that mainstream recognition here in the states fighting like or, or as they're saying knocking anthony joshua on the zone they would rather knock him out on this is their words i mean me just you know paraphrasing a little bit but basically they're saying from their side they would rather fight him on a bigger platform like showtime fox or you know worst case scenario espn if some shit like that ever went down but in their scenario um um uh showtime or fox the zone is just not that big yet where they want to use the um joshua wilder to bring in subs where Josh, where Wilder, he wants to get more mainstream, you know, um, um, exposure. It's all really, 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 really complex. But let's go see what happens at the post-fight press conference. Check out our merch store. The link is right down below in the description box. We ship all over the world within 12 days or less. Podcast is starting soon. Patreon, where we're going to be doing uncut videos with full blown highlights no fbi disclaimer or people always bitching why do you use it y'all think i want to use this shit Y'all think i want to use it so just cut me some slack we're on the channel here bringing you you know post fight highlights with results and actually breaking down boxing for example let me just run it down to you one more time to tell you what's going on with your heavyweight champions deontay wilder now is going to likely be fighting Luis Ortiz unless some crazy power move happens, which I doubt. Tyson Fury's taking on Tom Schwartz once again a month from today, June the 15th in Vegas on ESPN+. Plus. Anthony Joshua, June the 1st in two weeks, is defending his three. Well, if you count his IBO, his, his seductive, alluring, it's so sexy, IBO, WBA, WBO, and IBF titles against Andy Ruiz, who stepped in for drug cheat, um, Gerald Big Baby Miller. Kubert Pulev is keeping his IBF mandatory. And then don't be surprised if Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz ends up being the WB. Well, you have a better chance of seeing Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury this year, in my opinion, than, Deion, than Wilder. I'm um, Joshua versus Wilder. But whatever, I don't want to sit here rambling. I'm Tistry Controversy. This is Tistry Controversy. Level Fight View360.com. Please subscribe.